It's a seasonal thing. As the ground begins the thaw, little mounds across Missouri lawns start servicing. No fun as they kill grass and make landscapes look like minefields. Who's the culprit? The menacing mole. We talked to area residents and mole removal masters about this common problem. I didn't know really what they was until I seen the runners and I had asked uh, my neighbor and uh, he said, yeah, they're, they're moles. I'm going, oh, great. <laughs> a lot of times what, what a mole will do when he does that is uh, he's digging deeper to excavate the dirt out so that he can get to his food source. But why all the runs? What could this little digger be doing? From what I understand, they'll have like a nest uh, because they're a mammal. Uh, and they'll go to that nest and they'll go to their feeding area and they'll feed and then they'll come back to that, that area. In fact, these critters are pretty territorial, having only one litter a year right about this time. Moles don't colonize, they don't build up their litter, they, they usually disperse. So if you've noticed the earth moving under you and it's not the fault line, it may be time to call in reinforcements. Um, in the state of Missouri, uh, we're, the homeowner has the right to protect their lawn uh, from moles. Uh, and that's kind of where we fit in. Do-it-yourself ideas include pellets, worms, and traps, which can be expensive. I can't tell if they're working or not. That's the problem. You, you don't know if they're working unless they, you know, disappear. My cat kills them. She, you know, she probably killed probably 10 of them last year and brought them in and put them in my wife's chair. A lot of people uh, get the idea that they can control the moles that are they're using in their yard uh, if they, they do grub control, uh, which is a myth. They actually eat earthworms. So are we being overtaken by these furry little varmints? According to the internet, they said that in a half acre lot, there would be maybe three moles. When they see a lot of damage, they think, well, it must have like hundreds of moles or thousands of moles. And really typically it could just be that one mole because they, they'll travel about 100 feet in a day. While some pest control companies charge by months or a year, Jenkins Company charges by mole per month, costing an average of $100 to $200.